Right, so this week's project didn't go to plan. Um, the new one of those is supposed to be in there, and it's not. So I started an emergency project earlier in the week, and we're going to make a jigsaw. So uh, to make a jigsaw, we're going to use a laser cutter, and we're going to flush through this bit a little bit quick because it's not terribly interesting, but I'll give you an idea of what I did. Um, opened Inkscape, set up for the laser cutter, and I found an SVG file online of a jigsaw. Um, not terribly complicated. And we're going to make it smaller, like this. Um, this is going to be our cut, so it needs to be in red, so that the printer recognizes it. It needs to be in red, um, like that, and then a few little bits. I want to have a little frame around it because it will help hold the puzzle together as you're doing it. So I'm going to grab the outside line, duplicate that, and then just have that around the outside if we just turn lock off clip and then do that just make it a little bit bigger just so it's on the outside and what I thought would be interesting because these lines are probably going to be quite big on the laser cutter for a jigsaw um, and it's quite a small jigsaw this is only 30 centimeters long and 20 centimeters down so this is even smaller than half of that um, but I thought it'd be interesting to grab this and have a few extra ones on there but rotated and I thought that would make a fairly interesting pattern of for the jigsaw so I've got a couple of these oh hold on let's keep these the same size let's do this duplicate that and have that down here something like that and then one in the middle Let's go like this. What you need to do is to get rid of the points on these lines that overlap one of the other puzzles, one of the other black ones. Um, and that way it will look like it's a pile of puzzles on top of each other rather than this mess. Um, but I'm not going to bore you with that because it takes a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do a quick transition to the other one. So you can see I've trimmed down the stroke lines for the jig the black jigsaw pieces in here because um, it's only going to be um, engraved in the laser cutter so they don't need to be super thick to see them but I have left the borders nice and thick so it kind of gives you a definition of that each jigsaw is separate to one another and I've got rid of all the the over underlaps so the the this middle jigsaw is on top of the other two and at least that's how it's intended to look and I've trimmed the extra bits off so that I don't end up wasting bits of wood because I can use this piece of wood later on now we're gonna head over to the printer so as you can see the printer's all ready to go and I've decided this time to put masking tape on top of the wood to try and alleviate having scorch marks on the wood afterwards so what we'll do is we'll let this run and we'll have a quick 10 second montage of a printer cutting out. And we're done. So the next bit, now that it's all cut out, is to get it out of the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it around to stop it sticking to the glue that's on the metal plate behind it. And then we're going to cover it in masking tape again so that I can lift all of the pieces out as one solid jigsaw piece. So it's at this point I realise I've made a terrible mistake and I've got to remove all of the very tiny pieces of masking tape that the laser cutter has cut out into jigsaw shaped pieces on top of jigsaw shaped pieces. 
And so I'm kind of hoping that the big pieces of masking tape will remove the little ones as they come off. They did not. So now we start the arduous process of removing all of the masking tape from all of the other pieces. It turns out it would have been quicker to just print another one. Uh, but I wasn't too sure whether it would and I wanted to see if the masking tape had actually stopped the scorch marks. So I persisted and with a quick little jump cut it actually did help. Uh, but it did take me three times as long to peel off the masking tape as it would have done to print out another one. I suppose I should give this puzzle a go now and let's find out how long it actually takes to do without a picture. Although I do kind of roughly know what it's supposed to look like. So at the time of recording this, all the bits of the Land Rover project that I promised have now actually turned up. And so next week, that's what we're going to do. So if you want to be reminded of that, please remember to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this sort of content, please hit the like button because it will encourage me to make more of it, which means you get to like more things. Um, anyway, I will see you all next week.